What's up guys, Leanne here doing a booster box opening of Ultimate Masters. But before we get into it, remember to like, comment, subscribe to be into our giveaway. More information on that in the description down below. It's so hard to open. If you wanted to get in on these boxes, just remember to check out my Patreon. We have a lot of good stuff available. That's also in the description down below. Yeah, I haven't done a uh, master set in a while. So this should be good. Frexy and Alton. Dark Dabbling. Mark of the Vampires. Honestly, I don't even remember the, uh, the cards and which way they come. Um, I don't think it rares in the front. Token. Ooh, Rune Halo. Nice. Wild Hunger. Rune Snag. Yeah, so I guess the, the Mythic or Rare is in the front. Crazy thing is about these sets. I don't know what happened. They they just have dropped so much in value in the last like three months. I I couldn't tell you why, honestly. It's very strange. Flagstones. Not bad. Riding Reapers against the Rider. Blood flow, groundskeeper, spider ombre. I used to play a uh, boggles deck. If anybody really knows what that is, but hopefully we get like a maybe like a cavern or souls or mana bowl would be nice. Lava claw reaches. Buried Alive, that's a good card. Stitchers. Grave. Foil. The High Priest. Arena Athlete and Shielding Plaques. This card is, I hate that card. Actually, what I think I'll do is uh, take that out. Move the mythic to the bottom. Just so we're not pulling it at the very beginning of the pack. Prey upon. Crow. Resurrection. Yeah, and I probably will. Well, I am going to be doing more master sets. And tomb. Nice. Definitely more master sets and more... Um... Collector booster boxes. Because they're fun to do at the same time. They do have a lot of good value to them. Especially some of the newer sets with serialized cards. So they're really good chase cards. Thermal Alchemist. Prey Upon and... Shaman. Nothing, nothing too great so far. Um, the Frexian Alto was good. Oh, that was the pool. Our best pool. Yeah. Let's see if we can continue that luck. 
Um, yeah, there's a lot of good cards in this set. Definitely a lot of throwbacks. But, you know, definitely a good time to start opening them since they have dropped so much. You know, a Snapcaster Mage would be good. And Creeping Tar Pit. What else? Um, Liliana. Actually, they're actually not that great anymore, but... Yeah, the value of them, like, they used to be, like, $60 cards. I don't even know what happened. They really just, like, a dropped in value. Um, over the last couple of years, so. You gotta be careful when it comes to magic cards. And Frexian Tower. Not bad. But this is a pretty good pool. It seems like the lands are the real value for the most part. Like uh, the more commonality of pools you're gonna get. Or the Ulamog. Um, anything a part of the uh, Eldrazi's are good in value. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust the stack next to me. Shed weakness. Like the real money maker is the box topper. And for the final card we have, back to basics. Because that can easily be like half the cost of the box. I'm gonna say half, but this is one card you can pull. That's close to half, but a lot of them are like a decent amount. But also there is some that aren't worth anything. Not like the worth like a couple bucks, like 30 bucks, but you definitely want those top tier mythic pools. Like the Liliana box topper. Ooh, nice. I love that drop oh, Drazi. Uh, oh, nice. Liliana. I really like the Eldrazi sets in this because it's just like a lot of them are just so ridiculous in terms of like what they do. Wait. I was on the front. Double Mythic, nice. Three of Breach. I wasn't expecting that. Very alive. So it looks like you could, the top guard could be a Mythic. You get a Double Mythic in the pack, which is pretty good. Now we know. So now I'll just, uh, token out to top two. There we go. And I'm really excited to do Kim Commander Masters too. That's going to be really nice. Here, there's going to be a lot of good cards in there. Sublime Archangel. Nice. You know, definitely a Mana Vault would be nice. Um, a Tudor. Uh, Ulamog would be good. But, you know, the lands are the real money maker. You got Cavern of Souls. And, uh, Ancient Tomb. Those are the real good cards. Same thing for uh, the Box Topper, too. This worm and Magnus or Magus, sorry. All right, top two. Put the token over there. Crush 
Martian Canopy, Slum Reaper, Heliads, Snake Birds, Turn to Mist. Ooh, nice. And for the Mythic, we got Stirring Wildwood. That's the one box topper we don't want to get. Because I believe that's the worst one we can pull as a box topper. So at the end of the day, that's 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 kind of what you don't want. We at least want to hopefully get like a top ten box topper out of this, because that's where that's where the gold value is. Nice. And for the mythic, we got all is dust. Nice card. How many packs we have left? We have a decent amount. Actually, what I thought. Hold on. Yeah. Decent amount of packs left. I think we're about halfway through now. Can we get a Mana Crypt, Cavern of Souls? Or, oh, sorry, Mana Vault. Age of Tomb. That's what we're on the lookout for. And we got Raya. Plate of hand. There's just so many cards in these packs too. Lotus Eye. More of sand again. And for the mythic we got the speed stage. Hold on, I'm adjusting these uh, this pile next to me. Breakfast worm, just the wind, I believe these should weakness. And for the mythic, we got Glen Archmage. Still nothing too weird. Some decent uh, mythics we got. Nothing too crazy. But, you know, hopefully we can get it there. I'm trying to look through it. Just make sure we didn't get anything. Yeah. Defy gravity. Staunch. God's willing. And for the mythic, it's... All of Revenants. All right. Have we pulled anything too fantastic so far? Decent pulls, nothing spectacular, I would say. Scuzz back. And the art on these are pretty nice too. A lot of magic art like that, honestly. Most of them have most sets. Ulamog's Mog's Crusher. And Ooh, nice. Ulamog. The infinite. That's a really good pool. Definitely the best pool so far. Okay, okay. Let's 
Treasure Cruise, Man Profit. Mammoth, Rapid Bombardment, and for the Mythic we got, oh, that's good, Orb of the Tomb, that, that, that's another, wow, back to back, really good Mythic Rares. Ulamog uh, and uh, Uborg. Orborg, sorry. Two really good mythics. Wow. We get that final pack magic. That's what we're getting. Even though it's the not the final pack, but ooh, two mythics. Nice. That's being stage foil. Gorgeous. Vengeance. All right, two packs left, and then we got the box topper. Let's see what we can get. Pretty some pulls overall, though. Hopefully, we can really seal a deal with the box topper. Safe hold. Tune on our mist and. Life from the Loam. All right. Final pack magic time. Let's see what we can get. Groundskeeper. See, that's the thing with these, like, I wouldn't say they're junk cards, but you got those two cards in here that are good so you gotta skip through these faith of looting nice and oh what a snapcaster mage let's go not what it used to be but still a little bit of value time for the box topper Ooh, gotta be careful is there a slit yeah there is Saw something green. Trying to open it without looking at it. Ooh, that didn't look good. Okay, here we go. And what did we get? A noble high arc. <sighs> Honestly, not not that great. Very, very, very okay. It could have been worse, but I'll take it. All right, guys, like if you tune in, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and in our giveaway, um, or join Patreon. We have Double Masters, Evolutions, and Toon Chaos for box breaks in the Patreon. Just sign up and check it out. I'll see you guys in the next video.